Oh, sorry. Hi, guys. Back for the blather. Right, what have I been up to? Well, a few things have happened. Oh, I'm like, will I tell you, or won't I? Sort of. I nearly had a job, and I'll just say that. Um, no, didn't quite work out. Then everybody was talking about, you know, Edinburgh and going, and I was like, in my last podcast, I'm definitely not going. It would be too overwhelming for me, and it would be this, and I've not got the money, blah de blah de blah de blah. And then I thought, you know, Laurie's coming all the way over for Canada. And hopefully one day I will get to Canada, but you never can tell. And um, Kate was coming over for Ireland, and I just thought to myself, no, Helen, you've got you've got to go to see Laurie. Because I knew John, John was going weird as chill. Um, I didn't know who else was going, and it was also a couple, I read a couple of posts, you know, saying, you know, even if you didn't get in, Edinburgh is such a beautiful city, you could go and do a lot of sightseeing or whatever. And I thought, well, you know, I don't drive, so it would be train fares and, or bus fares, and it would be this, that, and the next thing. And I thought to myself, do you know, this is the week before Edinburgh, and I thought to myself, I wonder, I wonder what my daughter's doing next Saturday, because obviously, you know, young people are out and about and going here and going there. So I just said to her, and it was so funny, it was it was exactly like I'd meet him a couple of days before. So I said, what are you doing next Saturday? And she went, nothing, how? So you know, seeing Stephen? No. You know, you're, no, 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 no. I'm having a quiet weekend. I said, oh, I said how do you fancy take me to Edinburgh? <laughs> how do you fancy take me to Edinburgh? She drives, obviously. And she went, how? I said, well, Laurie's coming all the way over to Canada and I would hate to miss her and, you know, I might, she might not get next year and I might not get over to Canada. Well, I know I'm not going to Canada in the next couple of years anyway, but blah, blah, blah. So, cut a long story short. <laughs> so she says, ah, I'll take you. I said, look, it's like, it'll be like money to get in, but that's it really, in petrol. Diesel for her. She's got a diesel car. So that's all right. So on the Friday, Night, I'm sitting here watching TV, you know, all happy, telling everybody, oh, I'm going to Edinburgh. They just basically went on Instagram and says, I said, I'm going to Edinburgh on Saturday, I'll see you there if, you know, blah, blah. And a couple of people had to bite me, oh, yeah, I can't wait to meet you, blah, blah. And this almighty bang. I live on, like, a roundabout. You've seen it if you followed me on Instagram, but you've seen it anyway. And um, I'm going to take a picture and upload it. And I hear this away, so I get runs to the window. And there's this red car, red, 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 red van just hit my daughter's car. And I went, oh my God, I've told everything I'm going to Edinburgh. And I'm like, luckily enough, it was only bumper damage. She needed a new bumper. And they paid for it. The people that, well, person's father paid for it. So it looks like a brand new car today. Um, she got it done Tuesday there. She was supposed to get it done the Friday we were coming to Edinburgh on the Saturday but they'd ordered their own bumper blah de, blah blah and she's going no no it's fine mum she's drivable but she was so upset because it was her car looked like you know she'd been in an accident when she hadn't been in the accident she was in her bed. So, so anyway we get to Edinburgh driving through and it was smitty and rainy and blah de blah So when we when it gets to, is it Chester Street or whatever street it was? And she's going, oh, where will we park? We'll, park. We'll, just, we'll just drive up past. So there's this big huge long queue of people. And I'm going, oh, they're natters, they're natters. So they would drive by the queue of people and we get parking on the street right next to the corn exchange. It was absolutely fantastic. Not even a two minute walk. So we joined this queue, thinking that's the queue to get in, and so I actually thought, this is, nah. I said, is this the queue for tickets or non-tickets? And she went, well, this is the queue for tickets. She says, the queue for the, the people who don't have tickets is on the other side. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So we're better not being. I said, oh, we'll just 
because they wouldn't start it moving and they were starting to get in. And I thought, oh, we'll just walk with you, Ruin, and then we'll join her too. So that's what we did, and nice lady. So we joined our, our cure on the other side, and we were getting the bags, and that showed it earlier. And, um, then what happened? And I, I seen somebody I recognised in the queue quite a bit further down. I mean, we were literally minutes till we were in the door. And um, I was like, oh, this is like that to me. I says, oh, there's Tracy. For you. She, she's a German podcaster, but she do, does it in English. That's Nuflatia. And I thought, oh, what if I'll see from her inside? Because you, it's, we just went in the door and it was like, oh, oh my goodness. And there was cake everywhere, people. Literally, there was cake everywhere. So I'm so glad we were on this, like, no eating chocolate and cake thing. <laughs> so, we get some wristbands, and my daughter says, Can you wait here to take my jacket back to the car? So she went out to her jacket back, and I was waiting. And I was like, Oh, there's Eric for sticks plus twine, and there's Vul and Vine, and her husband and there was, you know, it was just like the who's who of podcasters. So we did a tour of the marketplace. First all I seen as it went in the door was the Knit and Goddess, which I've still got stash, Knit and Goddess yarns. But it was, I, I never got to speak to Joy, but it was nice to see her and she had some lovely yarns there and everybody, I think everybody that I, I've seen and know has bought for the Night God is still. So we went around and I seen the wool kitchen, travelling yarn, was it travel yarn or travelling yarn? The threshing barn. And I didn't, I, I've never heard of this, La BM, La something BM or whatever, the French, everybody's raving on their podcasts. I've never heard of them. i seen Knit Cosmic Strings, they are. I've already got one. Uh, they're yarns. And as I said, because I had li limited funds, basically no money, <laughs> um, I was like, I saw I wasn't really looking. And then it was my daughter, so she said, you, you can get something to this value, blah, blah, blah. So we've seen them and we've seen... But do you know, who I forgot to go and see, who I wanted to go and see, with all the excitement, everyone, it was, it was just... I wanted to go and see Dingme East London Knits, Renee, and I totally forgot, and I was like, ah! So, do I next year? So then, we're, as we're doing that, and spying all this cake, and... I never went up and spelled Brooklyn Tweed, and Brooklyn Tweed was there. I, I'm like, Ugh! So, um, Jameson was there, you know. Uh -oh. Right, I think that's us now. I only went, I went off for whatever reason. Right, where are we? Where are we? Cake everywhere. <laughs> Guess thing about cake. Um, so I'd done the rounds there, as I see, and then we went up, we seen the area for the podcaster lounge, and I thought, well, I'd, I'd seen tables and people sitting, so I knew it was fine to go up and sit. Oh my. Now this was straight away in the morning, it was almost full then. So we're walking up, and it, it was like, you know that, across a crowded room sort of thing. <laughs> it's so funny. I just walked straight up, I thought we'll head up this way and I walked and I seen Glory straight away and I went, there she is! <laughs> My baby's laughing, God, mother. So that was that, I was, was screaming away, I'm so happy to see her. And she was sitting with, oh my goodness, Patricia, Tilly Trout, oh who else, Selma, somebody else. Selma's, I think Selma's was a friend. There was, is it Kim Nitz? Kim Essex Nitz? Kim Nitz Essex? I, I, I 
friends we are now on Instagram. Um, and then I seen John, he was sitting over in the, in, in the actual podcast the lounges, and just outside the podcast the lounge with the black, blacker yarn. I, the people I saw was mind boggling. Again, I saw Salt Mortician, Vulanvine, Vero, Ellie, Skin Deer Knits, Pins and Needles, is it Pins and Needles? She was with Owl About Yarn, Jenny. I met the other Julia, it was fantastic meeting Julia who's zero one stumpy, everybody know everybody I think knows her. Real well, no everybody knows her. Um, and I, I met the lovely Jill and it was quite comical because I had already been out and done another round and bought my yarn and come back in and the bit we were all sitting at was got was you know everybody was going. And so we moved into this other wee bit and I was sitting next to Tracy for Schnuff, uh, she's Schnuffleteer, who I saw in the marketplace, I'm kind of all over the place because as I say it was so like, ah! um, so it's Tracy was the first person I saw it and I went up and I went, hi Tracy, she went, Ellen! <laughs> I was quite surprised, um, then, oh hold on a minute, my battery's running low, so then it was, uh, Erin, bumped in Erin, and she was the same, and I went, ah, and she went, hello, <laughs> she was so sweet, she's as sweet as she, she seems on her podcast, and her friend, and, oh, it's just so many people, honestly, my, Louise, Keith Ness Craft, I actually went up and spoke to, to Louise, because we don't, I don't talk to a lot of people online, I'm not as, big with the writing is a lot of people and I'm not kind of pushy in your face sort of like get to know me because I want to be wild and famous <laughs> that's just not how I am as a person because I was like yes I, I love it there was nobody apart from the people that I knew I, I've spoke to I, like not a single stranger came up and says to me are you Sprite 966 and that was fine absolutely fine with me because I wasn't expecting that because um, I think a lot of my podcast watchers are actually overseas and um, or in England sort of thing so anyway so I'm seeing all these podcasters and they're all you know and they're all getting together and a few people were like you know and all oh, the other cool kids and we're the not so cool kids <laughs> and I'm like I like being a not so cool kid um, And you know, people were up at the the bigger name podcasters, you know, like Eric and um Kirsten for Vulan Vine and uh, Katie for number KT for number twenty three. Uh, I mean like literally this close to them, as close as I am to you. Um but I did go up and uh, I seen John was speaking to Eric, the lovely John. He just was uh, is just an amazing guy. Everybody I can't say enough things, uh, any nice things about John. I'm so looking forward to getting to Perth to meet him again. And hopefully this time Janet as well. Um, so I went over and spoke to John and he was speaking to Eric. So I introduced myself to Eric. And he was nice enough to talk to, you know. And I was, you know, pointing out Louise who's Keith Ness Craft because I think she's the oldest audio podcaster. I'm the oldest video podcaster um, there was another what, podcaster I think who is a bit older than me but she doesn't podcast anymore um, so I'm now the oldest video Scottish video podcaster um, who else um, seen the lovely blacker yarn I've read the, the kind of table like Patricia and I think Laurie got some as well, and do you know, it was just, it was, I'm so glad I went, and that was the, I mean, 
it was a good job I didn't have a credit card. If I had a credit card, I would have been like, whoo -hoo, I'm buying that and I'm buying that and I'm buying that and I'm buying that. And I'm buying that. <laughs> there was yarn bowls, there was jewellery, there the Kate Davies, there was books. I mean, just wow. I went to, I've been to that little third festival, I've been to. The first one I went to was um, Yarn, School of Yarn, Glasgow School of Yarn, and it was a small, small one, it was lovely and absolutely great. I got a t shirt for that and I got, you know, obviously I was working back then. Then I went to the, the Wool Fest 2000, I think they, did I do the Cumbria and the Yarn Cake in the same, it's Glasgow School of Yarn the same year? I'm not sure, but yeah, Wool Fest was 2012. And we went down as a bus group, and it was fabulous. But nothing like this. That that just took my breath away. Edinburgh. It was just. It was all inside. It was roasting. Please, if you're ever going to go, do not wear it and look really hot, because it was a boiling. Um, I had to take my jacket off, and my scarf, and I only wore one a knitted scarf. Um. Well, else? I mean, it was just knitwear galore and I seen somebody for the Lock Winner group. I'm not going to say her name because I'll get it wrong. Nettie Nessie, I'm not sure. But anyway, I've met her at the Lock Winner group, knitting group before, that's just in the road for me. Um, I've seen Louise Scully, who is knit British and I spoke to her. She's lovely. Like, literally, she's as as nice as everybody else says. Um, try to think. Oh, it's just amazing. There, there's no words to describe actually how how amazing it was. It was totally, totally different to Wolfest. Wolfest was eerie. I mean, it was as busy. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it was chock a block. A totally, totally different atmosphere. Don't know whether it was because it was an inside venue or it was because I knew more people. Or what the, the you know what, but I'm definitely going back next year. Whether I get the lanyard with a podcast name on it or whatever, no, it doesn't matter. I mean, I will definitely be at Edinburgh, and it probably I may just go and stay overnight. I'll either go for the two days, because if if like people you know me, I mean, it's great to sit and blather to people that you you know on online or on Instagram. And it's just great to actually sit and meet them. Because as Patricia had said, you know, now that you've got that connection, you'll never lose that. You'll always have that. They're no longer just virtual friends, they're actual friends' friends. And I would never have heard about Grace from the Babel's Travelling Yarn. I would never have heard of, heard of Ellie, who's skinned here. And I probably would have eventually. And it was so nice to actually meet Selma and Tilly Trout. And as I say, these people, well, I think some people knew, but Tilly didn't know about me, but she was so nice. She, I've been following Tilly on Instagram and she started following me back. And, you know, it's, you just make so many nice connections. And it was lovely to speak to Jenny because I remember getting yarn, uh, minis and fibre for Jenny for the Owl About Yarn. Now, she in Wales or England? I can't remember, she's got a podcast as well. Luzo, I knew I was forgetting somebody and I don't want to forget anybody that I actually spoke to, spoke to. But actually, I'm trying to think what happened because we were standing talking one minute and then I never saw her again. And it was so nice to meet her. And I thought, definitely at Perth, she better be coming to Perth. She's lovely. So as another Louise. Oh, it was just... If I can, I mean, just... Brave it, go with somebody, if, uh, I mean, a daughter, take a cousin, a husband, somebody, anybody. Um, go on Facebook or Instagram and just arrange to meet one person there. It will make such a difference and it was totally amazing. Even if you get no money. I mean, I was the kid, even if my daughter had not said to me, Mum, I'll buy you a skein of yarn or... Because it was like, I could have got anything for that. She says... I'll give you a price and you get, so it was either going to be one of the Abu Bulu baskets, you know, the, the lovely baskets with the leather handles and uh, I really want one of the baskets, I have a basket case, 
<laughs> no, I love basket cakes. <laughs> but I love baskets. But I thought, oh, I, but I, I wanted a bigger kind of one and it, it was in the end of the price range. So I need to save up for next year. So I know, but go with a plan. Definitely don't go. I mean, what everybody that I've been watching basically has went to Edinburgh. We, you know, I know what I'm going for. I know what I want to get. And if I get a couple of extras, that's great. Because I obviously had no plan. What? But you definitely need to go and say, right, this is what I really need to get. And if I get a couple of wee extras, that's fine. But now I'm so, so looking forward to Perth in September. Um, so I know I'm doing Perth in September and I know I'm doing Edinburgh next March. And our knitting group, well, our wee knitting shop, my LYS, who I'm boss for a day, <laughs> every now and again, um, we're doing Rule Fest next, next year. So next year I'll have and maybe Perth again. So I really need to get a job. Um, and I need to get a, a job that's more than 11 hours. It's got to be at least 30. But anyway, I'm just overwhelmed. Uh, it was delightful meeting the people. And as I say, I went, went for one specific thing and I'd done that. I met the lovely Laurie. Who, um, as I say, you just meet people and you know, you know that's it. You're going to be great friends for life. Well, we were friends anyway before that because we, I don't talk online to everybody a lot or things like that, but I try to get back to people, but anyway, I could waffle on and on and on and there's probably loads of forgot. But wow, amazing. And watching, go watch, the, just put into YouTube, Edinburgh Yarn Festival 2017 to see what pops up. And there's loads loads of fantastic ones. I see I was watching a podcast and I can't remember who was, was it Gracie's? It might be Gracie's or I don't think it was Vero's. Um and I seen you know, I was watching all the Scottish dancing <laughs> or not Scottish dancing. <laughs> and there's John and Janet up there giving it at me. I think there was only two that knew what they were doing. <laughs> but anyway I'm going to go and try and get this out by probably Monday before this is uploaded because the first wee bit that I've done is only at 20%. Oh, and last but not least, happy birthday, Kaylee. 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 I don't know how you would say it, but we'd say Kaylee, um, who is. Um, the lovely Leslie's daughter who turned 18 on St. Patrick's Day and she got her first tattoo <laughs> and um, she was like, I see, so I wrote in to happy birthday from Scotland and she's like, oh, she'll love that because she, she always goes to a Scottish pub or restaurant so, I think, so she must like Scotland and you can't get any more Scotland and Glasgow <laughs> good old Glasgow accent so and I've been told I'm quite broad, so I don't know. But anyway, so a big happy 18th to Keely. And I hope you had a fantastic day. And I've seen you got a tattoo. Ouch. I've got five. <laughs> Get that mother of yours one. So, big shout out to Keely. And, um... Yep, that's me. And I'll let Keely know that she just need to watch the whole podcast to get her back. <laughs> But I did say I would give a shout out in my next podcast. So it's only a couple of days late. Right, so as I always say at the end, remember, it's one stitch at a time. Bye!